These are the supplies to make today's spinner. Um, you have the spinner itself, you have the spinner base, you have the cockpit roof for the area you're putting your minifigure into, and then the other pieces are for the spinner launcher. We have a 4x6 wedge and a 4x6 inverted wedge. These two are very similar shapes, but one does not have studs on the outside and the other one does. Um, we have two one by two bricks and we have this special black piece here, which is a special launcher piece and of course the rip cord. So we're going to start by making the launcher handle. We're going to stick the bottom one of these wedges, the one with the studs, onto the bottom of this special black piece with and the four holes next to the rounded end, like this. And then we're going to stick the two one by two bricks on top of the hollow studs on that wedge plate. Now we're going to take the top wedge and stick it across the top. And that gives us our spinner handle. It gives us the bit that we hold onto in our fist. Now for the spinner. Take the spinner base and the cockpit lid and this is the moment where you would take your minifigure and put them into the middle i'm going to show it to you without the minifigure because you can do it without a minifigure these two pins that stick out from the cockpit those go into these two holes on the base so now you have the little capsule that your minifigure would be in and you're going to stick it into the center of your spinner now you'll see that the capsule has these little bites in the sides of it and those match up with these little sticky out bits inside the spinner. So you have to line those up so that you can slide it the whole way down so that the point comes out at the bottom. And then so it doesn't fall out when you turn it upside down. After you've set it in you have to twist it around so that and you'll hear a little click when you do that. So it's like this and it can come in and out. And then you twist it and now it's held in position. And now you have a spinner. Now, in order to be able to rip your spinner, you need to set the bottom of the spinner into the hole on top of your hand, like this. And then we need to slide our rip cord through this notch on the handle. Now, if you look at this notch carefully, you'll see that it's not a straightforward rectangle. It has a little bit that sticks out at the side. And that shows you which way to put your ripcord. If you look at your ripcord, you'll see that it has teeth across almost all of it. But at one point, there's on one side, there's an open strip. That open strip goes into the little narrow bit at the end of the rectangle on your ripcord. And now you push the ripcord the whole way through. And then you find whatever position you want in order to pull the ripcord to let go. 